Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so much for joining me for today's summer decorate with me. Today I'm sharing part two which is decorating my living room and I'm really excited to share with you guys all the details as to how everything came together but basically I was going for a soft and neutral palette just to give me that calm and peaceful feeling for the season but still wanted it to be a bit cozy so of course I had to throw in a little bit of green as my pop of color and yes I really love how it turned out I hope you guys do as well and I hope this brings you some decorating inspiration as always if you guys do enjoy this video please give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe also stick around because at some point in today's video I will be announcing the mug giveaway winner so definitely you don't want to miss that and yes without further ado let's go ahead and get into decorating I'm really excited to show you guys how how the living room turns out. Okay friends, so I'm starting off in this corner of my living room by hanging up these framed dried florals and cleaning up this wall real quick. But as you guys can see in the background is my coffee bar. If you guys missed part one, which was decorating my coffee bar, you might have missed that we installed some new French doors. And I really love how warm this corner turned out. It just looks so beautiful and such a cottagey style. So for this corner of my living room, I wanted that same warmth but I still wanted to feel summery so I pulled out my blanket ladder and I did add this like cream colored throw it has little pom-poms on it it's from Target several years ago but I absolutely love that like off-white color so it doesn't match my walls and it still stands out but it's a light enough color that it invokes some coziness during this summer season i don't know if that makes sense but anyways next to it i'm adding this cute little stool and on top of it i'm going to add this basket with an olive tree inside of it the basket is actually an umbrella holder and i just added the cute little olive tree inside of it and i absolutely love that it adds a lot of height and again just that summery touch but this corner just turned out so warm which is exactly what i was going for the ebbs and flows used to bring me down I'm stronger now Used to toss me about I'm wiser Now for my mantle, we finally did get the frame TV up and I am loving it. I will get into it a little bit more later because we still have to hide like the cords and the box, which again, I will show you guys in just a bit. But anyways, I am already envisioning how beautiful it's going to look when everything is hidden. But nonetheless, I am decorating the mantle and I'm starting off by cleaning it because it was a mess after hanging up the TV. And with with this cute little vase I'm just gonna place it in the corner and I am so surprised with how much space I actually have on the mantle because the TV isn't like sticking out so I was really happy about that and I just added some baby's breath in this little vase and I love it I think it's so simple yet so cute and paired along with the frame TV it just looks so beautiful in my humble opinion which again I'll show you guys in just a bit kind of where everything is looking with the frame TV but yes I'm just rearranging the little baby's breasts so they look nice and full Now in this corner of my living room, I'm adding this throw blanket on top of this accent chair as well as a throw pillow just to add those colors I'm working with. And then on this corner of my mantle, I'll be adding two faux books I got from Hobby Lobby and a candlestick holder in like an antique gold color that I got from Target. I think it was during the Christmas time last year. 
absolutely love these candle holders. I think they're beautiful. I have two of them and I've basically used them every single season since Christmas and I plan to continue using them. So again, purchase items you are gonna reuse and use and use over and over again. Definitely makes them worth it. But anyways, that is how this turned out. Okay friends, so I quickly wanted to show you the frame TV. I got this for my birthday, Jonathan gifted it to me and I am so happy. I've been wanting one for a while now, but they're a big investment. So I'm happy we found the perfect moment to get it. Our old TV actually started giving out right before my birthday. So just in time, and this is how it looks. We still have to hide like the box and the cables behind the mantle. But for now, this is what we're working with and I absolutely love it. I do want to get a frame for it eventually, but this thin black frame that is the TV works. And I just want to show you guys how flush to the wall it is. It gives me so much space to decorate up here and yes i'm so so happy and i really really love it i'm so excited to get to play around with a different art for the different seasons and so on but yeah i wanted to show you guys real quick what it's looking like Okay friends, so as you guys saw, as much as I would have liked for everything with the frame TV to be done for this video, it was not. Jonathan has been really busy so I don't feel like bugging him but I really wanted to get this video out for you guys and I wanted to decorate. So nonetheless, we're going to continue decorating the side table next to my sofa. I just added a book, a vase, some hydrangeas and a cute little wickered basket and then of course I'm going to add my throw pillows both of these I've already had from previous years and in this corner I've had this pillow for a really long time but this next one is new I got it from home goods and I really like it I think the pattern just looks so beautiful and it really does brighten up this corner of the living room paired along with all the things in the background and so on but now for my coffee table, I have been wanting to do something big on my coffee table, but I never felt I could because as you guys can tell, both sides of my coffee table actually fold up because the table itself is storage. So I never felt like I could do something big here, but I decided to go for it for this season. I just love it and I figured we could just scoot things off to one side when we need to open the coffee table but anyways i started with two coffee books i added this cute little candle holder i just found at hobby lobby i love it i think it has such a unique and beautiful look and then of course just a candle on top then i'm adding this wickered basket and inside of it i'm adding a big vase the vase is from target and inside of it i'm using those baby breaths once again i think i can definitely use a few more baby's breath but I ran out so I just made what I had work but I love it I think this looks so beautiful and it definitely is my favorite area that I decorated for this season I did end up having to cut out a clip of me putting the pillows in the middle section of my sofa but I will show you guys in just a second basically my dress is just a little bit too short and I was showing a little bit too much but this is how it turned out super cute absolutely love it okay everyone so i'm quickly interrupting this video to do the mug giveaway winner if you guys don't know what i'm talking about basically jonathan purchased one of the mugs i designed with my friend Brittany, and he wanted me to do a giveaway with it so anyways as always i just want to say thank you to absolutely everyone for your love and your support on my channel for your comments for just being the best 
subscribers that there could ever be honestly my channel is such a positive place and i owe it all to you guys so thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart i really wish i could pick everyone to win a mug but i can't i only have one but nonetheless i do plan to have a few more giveaways here in the near future but just know from the bottom of my heart how much it means to me that you guys choose to watch my videos choose to comment to thumbs up to subscribe i know it's not it's not something I take for granted and I just want you guys to know how much I love and appreciate you guys so so much but anyways without further ado I went ahead and entered everyone into like a random winner picker on the internet and the person that won this giveaway is Eileen Bell thank you so much for your comment and thank you so much for your support on my channel definitely just let me know what the best way to contact you down below in the comments is or send an email to the email you can find in my description box but yes thank you guys so much once again for all your love and support and let's go ahead and get right back into decorating And now for my entryway table, I'm starting off with this vase and these olive tree branches just to tie in the olive tree I have in that other corner of the living room. This is something I have continued to struggle with, but if you've been here long enough, you guys know that I usually like using the same floral throughout my living room and my kitchen and my dining room in any type of floral arrangement that I have out, but I've slowly started to make myself use different type of florals that go with each other but still are a little bit different i'm still working on it but i figured the olive tree branches just looked really good in this corner and it balanced out the other corner with the olive tree like i said and I also struggled with this entryway table because I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this, but we had a yard sale and I got rid of a lot of my decor because I'm really focused on purchasing more like statement pieces or pieces that may be a little bit more expensive but that I love and that I could reuse over and over. So that's kind of the process I'm in right now. So I figured that I would sell a lot of the decor I hadn't used in a while and I struggled for this entryway table because I'm missing a lot of the pieces I would have normally gravitated towards. I don't know but Nonetheless, I worked with what I had. I added these vintage books next to the lamp and then this cute little tray with some candle accessories and that is how the entryway table turned out. I will show you guys an overview of how the living room turned out in just a bit. But overall, I really do like how everything turned out. I liked working with the things I already had. And I love the summery but cozy look that I was able to achieve. So definitely achieve. I said that weird. Anyways, let me know down below in the comments what you guys think. But overall, I'm really loving how my house is turning out for summer. Alrighty friends, while that is everything for today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys liked how everything turned out. Again, I'm really looking forward to enjoying this 
cozy neutral palette until pre-fall and fall gets here. I am just so excited because I already saw that a lot of fall decor is coming out and I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, I already picked up my first a fall piece. It's a little tiny painting but I'm really excited for that cozy season and I hope you guys are too but for now let's enjoy the summer decorating. I have one more video coming out which is decorating my kitchen and of course I throw in a recipe in there so I will see you guys in my next one. As always I hope you guys have a beautiful amazing rest of your day and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye!